Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and now we are talking about Windows 7 as we take a look uh, and a tech guy look at the different operating systems. So I would um, first say that Windows 7 is probably follow you know with Windows XP um, one of the loved operating system that Microsoft had. Um, so, of course, Windows Vista, not loved, hated, and for a lot of people with computers that were underpowered, sluggish, and problematic. Um, and if you had a computer that had all the requirements, there were some uh, sites of Windows Vista that were a little weird. But um, I think, honestly, Windows Vista is um, probably uh, not as bad as most people thought but it was for a lot of people and I know by experience the people that didn't like it are the people that had uh, for the most part you know minimum requirement computers which were abundant back then unfortunately uh, it's not as much of a problem today although you still got to be careful what you buy so quickly Microsoft wanted to repair its um, little blender of Windows Vista and then came Windows 7 and Windows 7 is the first one for those that are a little tech savvy like our tech enthusiasts uh, you might remember that Windows 7 is the first version of Windows that Microsoft actually gave what today we call insider previews but they would call them technical previews back then and I still remember when I signed up to get the first technical preview of Windows 7 before it was released and they had released several technical previews before the official launch. The uh, computer that I used back then was a Core 2 Duo, a Toshiba laptop that came with Vista. Uh, my encounter with Windows 7 came through technical previews but also came through a program that Microsoft decided to do probably because it knew a lot of people weren't very happy. They actually, many months before the release of Windows 7, released a special. They said if you pre-order Windows 7, you'll get it at a very cheap price. And I don't remember the price back then, but I do remember it was very cheap for the full version of Windows 7 compared to... Um, the full price of that same system and so of course I jumped on the let's buy it now for very cheap and I'll get it when it's available and actually that was a success um, Amazon at the time had said that that was the most successful sales of a Windows version so that program or that um, sale that they did or that kind of you know uh, advanced uh, pre-sale for a, a discount price was very popular. Windows 7 was released on um, to manufacturing on July 22nd, 2009 and released and available for everybody October 22nd, 2009. And of course, it's a major release of the Windows NT operating system that Microsoft developed. Successor to Windows Vista and the first um, comments and the first reviews were highly positive. Windows 7, in reality, is still Windows Vista. And a lot of people didn't see it like that because what happened is that every single little thing that people complained about, Microsoft fixed in Windows 7. It was still not perfect, but it was a much better system than Windows Vista for most people and there were less machines coming out with just minimum requirements also. It uh, <clears throat> came with the minimum requirements of and it had once again a 32 and 64 bit version and um, the 32 bit version a 1 gigahertz processor uh, later on upgraded on one of the updates to make sure that it could support SSE2. 
it had the minimum requirements of one gigabytes of RAM, a Direct 9X graphing, graphics processor with uh, Windows driver model 1.0. Storage, at least 16 gigabytes, and of course, a DVD drive or USB uh, ports for the uh, flash drive version that you could get. 64-bit process um, uh, of Windows 7, sorry, was 1 gigahertz 64-bit processor capable of 64 bits, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 20 gigabytes of storage space. At that time, when I installed Windows 7 on my Toshiba, I had, so it was a Core 2 Duo that was running at, I believe, 1.8 gigahertz, something like that. And it uh, had 4 gigabytes of RAM memory. So uh, Windows 7 ran really well and was a very, very nice operating system overall to run on that laptop. And I kept Windows 7 on that Toshiba laptop until Windows 10 arrived. And um, that Toshiba laptop ran Windows 7 very, very well all the way through. And uh, so Windows 7 had, of course, a lot of the same technologies of Windows Vista, but they were kind of made better. Things were enhanced a little bit. There was one service pack for Windows 7, and uh, one of the biggest complaints of Windows 7 and any tech guy is going to tell you is that if you didn't have handy a DVD that you actually, um, you know, retrofitted with all the updates pre-installed on the DVD, you were in for a humongous ride of Windows updates after updates after updates after updates with a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the problems that could be being encountered in Windows 7 updates. Um, so that was probably the main problem because for a rest, most of it was very functional, very fast, and um, it did everything pretty good. My observations as a tech guy was mostly based on the fact that a lot of people, when they went to Windows 7, were on Windows XP. And that was probably the bulk of um, people going on Windows 7, buying new machines, and suddenly you got Windows 7 on it. And, you know, we talk about how people with Windows 11 want to roll back to Windows 10 when they buy a new PC right now. And we heard the same stories when Windows 10 came out. A lot of people with Windows 10 said, no, I want to go back to Windows 7 on this machine. Um, the thing is, is that because of the time that it took between the release of Windows XP and Windows 7, most PCs that came out with Windows 7 had absolutely no support for Windows XP. No drivers, nothing. So first thing as a tech guy when I was confronted with, I would like to have Windows XP on this machine, um, it was the answer to, you know, no, you can't. Because Windows XP does not work on this machine. It's has technologies and not supported. So that was the first shock for some people. And for those that did, you know, want to stay on Windows 7, the shock was that a lot of their Windows XP hardware and software was not moving forward very well. A lot of the printers and a lot of the devices just didn't work very well. And that was also a big rant. Windows 7's introduction was not that easy just like Windows XP's introduction was not very easy. And a lot of people forget that. Um, I can tell you, the first year of Windows XP, like the first year of Windows 7, a lot of people didn't like it, didn't want it. A lot of people didn't understand it. And yet, for most of us that are kind of tech enthusiasts, we look at Windows 7, we look at Windows XP, you, can't, you have a hard time understanding that people don't actually get it. You have a hard time understanding that people just couldn't manage using Windows 7 because there weren't really that many difference. But as a tech guy, there was a lot of that going on. And uh, it was kind of interesting to see. And of course, anyone that has devices at work, printers and so on, aren't happy when you tell them, well, you know, your printer is not going to work here. You need something new. And uh, you, of course, as the guy that is in front of the people, 
uh, that uh, have that, uh, well, it's uh, it's uh, the uh, you know the, the 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 guy that that gets the rant and is like, why the hell this is happening? And Microsoft is this and that. It's not new with Windows 11. What's happening? The rant today is more vis visible because everybody or pretty much a lot of people now are on the internet. Uh, where in Windows XP to Windows Vista to Windows Vista to Windows 7, there's still quite a lot of people still not online. There's more and more Windows 7, definitely a lot more than Windows XP, but they're still we're still far from you know everyone on the internet still. Um, it's not like 2020, 2021, where yeah, okay, if you're not on the internet, you're now pretty much you know the exception to the rule in in, in the many countries. Uh, activation online once again and activation of course like Windows XP and Vista stuck to one machine so if you wanted to move your system to another machine um, well you had to call Microsoft and uh, explain that you're moving Windows to another machine and of course there's OEM machines and so on that were different from what when you bought the CD so um, you know and uh, of course, Microsoft was at that time uh, pretty much uh, a um, in the antitrust uh, problems. So um, when it actually got through, well, there were things that changed. And one of them in Europe, for example, the European antitrust regulations said, well, you got to have a ballot screen. You got to have a screen that pops up in Windows 7 that gives a choice of different browsers, not just Internet Explorer and so on. So, uh, of course, that was something that was a lot of, uh, of change. Uh, Internet Explorer 7 came with Windows 7, and of course it moved on uh, later on. Overall, the uh, system was loved, and overall it actually was very popular. Um, by 2012, there were 630 million licenses sold for Windows 7. And so that's in 2012. And um, it stayed the most popular operating system until it got beaten by Windows 10 as the most popular version worldwide in January of 2018. Of course, end of support came on January of 2020 and uh, which is kind of you know I just realized that uh, next month January 2022 is gonna be already two years incredible how time flies and uh, it's still you know a lot of people missed Windows 7 when uh, it came it, it, it was uh, end of support and um, I think Microsoft did a very nice combination a very nice idea that they had when Windows 10 arrived and the idea was, you know what, let's give it free to anybody with Windows 7. And in 2015, when Windows 10 arrived, well, you had it free for anybody. So the idea behind it was you had it free for the first year. And then if you didn't upgrade for the first year, you had to pay for it. But the uh, loophole of Windows 7 to Windows 10 still works. If you have a valid key, pro, you know, product key, of Windows 7, um, you can move on to Windows 10 for free. It still works. Of course, um, the next version was, was Windows 8, but a lot of people jumped over it, even though some people did go to it. And we'll talk about Windows 8, of course, in the next video. Another one that was not loved of the Windows operating system. And last but not least, Windows 7 was extremely stable. I mean, crashing Windows 7 is a little bit like Windows XP. Crashing Windows 7 was a hard thing to do. You really had to to do a lot of you know bad stuff or or have some hardware failure because um, it it really literally was a rock solid operating system. So, what's your fond memories of Windows 7? Is it one of the most loved or your favorite? Uh, tell us your own little memories. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching this series on the Tech Guy's view of 
Windows 7.